update report on page 19 and for the printing sheet. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, we'll that. Thank you, Chairman. Um, members will know this is a six month report presented to you normally in your, at your May and November committees. It's an update of uh, management performance um, and targets. Um, and this particular report covers the period from April to the end of September uh, 2014. Um, a lot of the information is. is um, Repetitive in some de to some degree, it reports on a number of key issues, uh, six in total. Um, whilst I don't propose to go through the whole report, there are a couple of points that I think are worth mentioning. Uh, the first is our performance um, in the last six months on our gas safety certificates. Whilst we've not achieved our target, which is 100%, and rightly so, um, it's gone up by over 2% to 99, and I think that's a tremendous achievement. Um, particularly by our technical division, um, Mike's team again. Um, the other point um, is the reduction, significant reduction on the uh, numbers on our waiting list. It's gone down by several hundred people. Uh, the reason for that is because of the impact of the new allocations policy um, that's had on the numbers, uh, whereby now we must, the people who register on our waiting list must have a a direct city connection, whereas before we pretty much let anyone apply uh, to come on our list. Um, whilst the, the third point I'd like to mention is the uh, performance on rent um, collection, it's hovering around our target of 98.5. It's a little below that at present, but it is above the same um, period for last year, which is good news. However, I would just like to. Um, give a, a warning really because uh, the impact of the welfare reform and particularly universal credit which is like I think uh, likely to come in next February for the city of London properties anyway I think like many other local authorities their performance will dip. We will do our utmost to keep it around the 98.5% um, but I think uh, members should be aware that there is um, likelihood that it will drop. Um, you will notice at the end of the report there's a very brief summary of Housemark's uh, benchmarking report. And whilst that is, um, is good news, it is quite a detailed report that they presented to us. Now I'm, I'm happy to take instructions on this, but if you would like more information about that, we could invite um, Housemark to a next or future meeting <coughs> to actually go through the report themselves. Um, and I'll leave that up to you. To, to decide how you want to progress with that. Um, I think that's about it. I'm happy to take any questions. I'll do my best to answer them now. If not, I'll take them away with me and, and come back. I think it would be useful. Sorry, I'm just going to say. No, I, was, I was just going to say, I think it would be very useful to have the benchmarking report presentation. Mm. Okay. We'll, we'll put that on the agenda. Chairman, can I just ask yeah. a question above and um, just to clarify for myself, um, on the gas servicing, I know it's the cities for the tenants, <coughs> but the leasehold, is it still, is it still the same? Um, but we, we've got no record, obviously, of the leasehold, as if they have any sun at all. No, there's no real requirement for them mm. to provide gas safety certificates, mm. unless they have their own tenant in there. If, mm. if it's a buy-to-let situation, yeah. and they have a formal agreement with their own tenant, then the situation is different. Um, but generally, leaseholders are not governed by the same rules. And they don't have to give us the information they no. have across. I just want to add that we, that we do have a leaseholder service um, for leaseholders that, that's done through our term contractor, mm. so they get it at a much reduced rate. Um, the take up isn't that great, um, but we constantly send it out at this to say that that's available to leaseholders to try and get as many on uh, Chairman, there is just one thing I would like to add, and I did hand round the department's annual report um, just before the meeting started. Um, this is an annual requirement of the department to provide this. I'm sorry you had no time to digest it, but um, it's it's in, we believe, a very easy, uh, readable format. Um, it's brief, but to the point. Uh, and again, if there are any, any questions as a result of that, I'll try to forward them now or 
perhaps take them away and come back. Um, I just wanted to ask about the, uh, on page 20, the percentage of jobs to which post-work inspections were carried out, where the mid-year performance kind of quite hit the target, so I gather it's doing better than it had previously. Yeah, yeah. Compared, compared to previous week, um, it has gone up. Um, quite a, lot, a lot of it has been around um, resources um, to be able to post inspect. But good news as part of that is that um, the post inspections that have been carried out, and um, we kind of do a pass fail, and the, the pass has increased um, dramatically over the last um, six months. So although the number of the par post inspected has not reached a target, the numbers that have passed have exceeded. Yes, yeah, right. Um, I also wanted to mention um, paragraph 8, the Resident Celebration Day, which did indeed take place on the 18th of October, and those of you who visited it for a bit, well, they uh, realised what a good day it was. It was really good fun. I think the, the best we've had, and they've all been good, but it was particularly well-planned, got lots of variety, no chance of getting bored, good entertainment, good information, and good engagement from people in the land, very good attendance. So thank you to everyone in the department who did so much work on that. Anything else on that report? Shall we move on?